Well, looks like you're probably enjoying yourself. Wife, kids, I know you're really close with Marv. How, how's the American trip going so far? Yeah, we are just uh, here for a couple of days and uh, everything is going well. Uh, just breaking the bike yesterday uh, yeah, for the first time. Today a little bit more riding. And then next week uh, we have this uh, the first race. So I'm, I'm born and raised in Southern California, so I'm not too, uh, it's not too surprising to show up to a track and see like 150 people at a local track here. Is it a little surprising how many people are here on a Friday? Does it make you wonder what we all do here for yeah. work? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's nice. There is so many people. So it's not EDL, you know, for training, but uh, anyway, we are just here to make some, some laps and uh, just to get used to it a little bit about uh, everything. At home, do you have any places that are as busy as this or like? Yeah, yeah, for sure. We have uh, we have a track uh, with, the, with the club that I'm riding with and uh, of course in the weekend uh, and when we open for public, it's a lot busy. But uh, yeah, to see it on Friday, it's, uh, it's difficult like this, yeah. So, Amer, since you have retired from full-time racing, this year's schedule was basically races that you want to do. Um, so you have the two American rounds. What else do you have after you do Paula and Hangtown? Yeah, I don't know. Actually, it's uh, yeah. I stopped last year uh, in Mantua for the last GP, and then um, yeah, we we didn't plan nothing until the uh, end of January. Uh, basically, I, I didn't ride until end of January, and then uh, yeah, I start doing some R and D uh, uh, department, uh, working on the new bike, and then uh, yeah, the beginning of March, I thought okay, maybe I can do some racing uh, still uh, in US. I mean, it's, it was always. A dream for me you know and then I, I couldn't really make it one time because I always fight for the championship in like 18 years of riding so I didn't really have the chance to make it because it was a little bit risky you know to just come here for one race and now I say okay I have no pressure I have not uh, okay I'm not in the shape that I was for, of course when I prepared the full season you know in the MXGP but I'm still enjoying riding and this is uh, the most important at the moment. Is there any other rounds you'd like to do just for the sake of a track you'd like to race? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, I like all of them. I think the, the tracks are so nice so on the on a, on a, on a, on a, on a road across. And uh, at the moment, only two. Uh, this is the plan, you know. Uh, and then we will see maybe later in the season. Because, of course, I would like to do the Motocross of Nation. This is, uh, this is a, you know, what I already had in plan. But, of course, if you don't race a little bit, it's, it's difficult yeah. because it's still one very high-level race. and. You know, uh, hopefully I'm ri I'm running the number one this year, uh, so it's it's really something uh, really special. So I really really like to do it for Italy. You know, it's nice. Are you looking forward to, uh, from the last destinations we did, Redbud? Did you enjoy it as a location for destinations? Yeah, I mean it was amazing. Uh, we were all, all, almost fighting for the win, also, you know, and then uh, some uh, some misunderstanding with the team uh, orders. You know, with my, with my teammate, I lost some positions. I was really really angry on this, and uh, we lost for a little bit of points. Okay, after we get, you know, we get, uh, we get a, still a good, good result, but you know, it's not really what we, we could do, we could do more, I think. Uh, I'm guessing that had to be a pretty special moment to end your career because you'd always just had the weirdest luck at destinations. I've always felt so bad, like, I'm sure you hear it a lot, like, you just, for all the accolades, destinations had never gone quite your way, so, I mean, it did, it, it was that shocking to basically wrap up your professional career with winning destinations yeah of course destination is very important race for, uh, for everybody in the motocross you know it's, a, it's one huge event and uh, you know uh, it's not, we don't really have such um, so many you know good riders in Italy you know that you can make a good you know uh, team every time we had a chance the last couple of years to have good riders and uh, yeah we, we, we were always like close to the podium and, uh, and, and uh, second and, and then we win finally so really really happy about this we 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 miss this on my i miss this on my career of course yeah. so of course you get to race with uh ryan dungy for the first two rounds i know you two are close but uh your buddy marv over here is ryan today have you bugged him much yet made fun of him to race the first no two. actually he was you know <laughs> it was i think a little bit bored because he's you know he stopped with he only had a supercross uh, contract and uh, and he was a little bit bored and then i said okay you come come with us you know we make some laps and uh, that's why he's here today you know to enjoy a little bit and to spend some time well, have fun this weekend, and we're really grateful to have you over. It's going to be a Thank great you, time. and I hope to see a lot of uh, American fans. <laughs>